Yo, what's poppin' guys? My name is Ghost NYC, and today I'm just gonna tell you guys what I'm rocking on my Onyx RCR. Some of you may already know me as Manozy Gaming. I am redoing my whole channel, rebranding it, changing everything, probably getting rid of all my gaming videos, and I'm gonna do strictly vlogs or reviews. Now let's get straight into the video. Here is my Onyx RCR, standard edition. So what I'm going over is what I've done to the bike, like modifications, just aesthetics and, um, you know, performance mods. One of the first mods I've done on this bike is these speaker mounts. So right here, we have speaker mounts on both sides. Press this and you just clamp off and on and you swing out. And I'm also running chargers to keep them plugged in at all times. The second mod I've done to this bike was add a charging station to this bike because my phone is always dying. I hate carrying around with portables. Just flip that switch up and there we go. This is what's charging both of my speakers right now. It's connected straight to the 12 volt connector. Um, and yeah, this is just charging both of my speakers to keep them alive. And if I need to charge another, my phone or something or my GoPro, I'll just unplug one and just, you know, plug it into my phone. Yep. Now to the front of this bike, I am running a new headlight, not stock. I'm running a headlight from Amazon, pretty bright. It's, it was only like 50, 30 bucks. It's with the brat, with the housing, I think it was almost 70 to 100. One of my friends get this to me. Uh, shout out to Davey. And this right here is an upgraded horn. Plug and play, just two wires. This horn is really powerful. Uh, a lot of people can hear you through cars, trucks, and they will get out your way, to be honest. Also, there's another thing right here that most people don't have just yet. Motorcycle brakes for the rear. I hear everybody complaining about their Magura's not biting enough or their cheap stock Onyx brakes not biting enough. Well, look at this. We have motorcycle brakes for the rear. I'm the one of the first, well, I'm actually the first person to have them on their bike and installed. They're from that shop. They're not out yet. I'm doing some testing for Alvin at that shop. These bad boys is gonna have some crazy braking power. Right now, what we're testing is the master cylinder, and that's all I'm saying for now. I will have a video probably reviewing these sometime in the future once they drop. And another modification I've done on this bike was these bar risers. It's all, you know, my bike is a little beat up. I use my bike every day. I ride my bike every day. But these bar risers, um, these help a lot for your back if someone likes to cruise around, but also speed. I'm a, I'm a speed demon, and I like to cruise around as well but this height is perfect for me. Um, these risers, I can link you guys to if you want me to. Um, and these bar, I got new bars as well. These bars are higher than stock and longer than stock. They're actually really comfortable to ride. Another little gadget I've got from a friend, shout out to Davey again, that's my homie, is this mount for my phone, the quad lock. So far, this thing has been running perfect. No drops, nothing like that. Has not fell at all, sturdy as hell. Shout out to my boy Vex for making this 3D printed mount for these rear lights. These rear lights are really bright. I'm, I'm in love with them and this mount is amazing to mount this on. Um, he's coming out with another mount for me and a couple other Onyx riders in New York City that covers uh, this whole piece. And it can also mount these strip lights as well. And these turn signals are amazing as well. They're really bright. Some, you know, another upgrade from the stock turn signals that come with the bike. I know a lot of people have been trying to look for some shocks and these are one of the most comfortable shocks I ever ridden on. These are the YSS shocks. I think the stock circuits have them. I'm not sure if you guys know what a circuit is, but the stock circuits have these shocks on them and these shocks are super comfortable. I recommend these shocks over the Ego Boost anytime. Another cosmetic I have on this bike is this tank to cover the battery. This tank is probably one of my favorites that shop made, of course. That shot made this tank and I'm in love with it. It, may, it changes the look of this whole bike to me. It fits up to a 55 amp hour battery from Chai. I don't know if it fits up to a 55 amp hour from Powerful Lithium. Uh, Powerful Lithium might have to come look at this and see, cause they use spacers in their pack. I'm also running a 50 amp hour pack from Powerful Lithium. You can't really see that logo, but it's deep in there. This pack has been amazing to me. The rated amps for this pack is 150, it's a Samsung pack. It's more of a range pack, but I'm actually running 190. I spoke into V, V said it's perfectly fine as long as you're not cutting off. 
and so far I'm running 190 with a far driver in this bike. I'm running a 530 72, 72 530 far driver. And so far I can hit like 67 to almost 70. Right now I'm trying to get to 75, but I might need more amps. But so far I'm loving this battery and I do not want to upgrade because it fits in the stock cover and a modified cover. The big covers from, you know, powerful lithium to fit the bigger batteries, I'm not a big fan of. They sit like up to here. It's kind of bulky. I'm not really in love with that. Um, and I'm running the stock motor, as you can see back here. Stock motor, the, the big rotor is in the way. <laughs> I'm running the stock motor with some fins on here to keep it cool. Another thing I've done to this bike is added the domino throttle. This domino throttle is so responsive. It's a big upgrade from stock. I recommend all you Onyx riders to definitely upgrade to this if you're running stock. And you know, I went with the stock switches. I like how the stock switches uh, look. So I got them from, you know, Amazon, a couple dollars, like nine bucks. And this is my on and off button, turn on my bike. I've, as you can see, I've been riding a lot. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, this is the gear switches, of course, one, two, three. And this is my on and off. Another thing here is I'm running pegs for my girlfriend. I usually ride with her in the back. They're foldable pegs. They're a good investment to make if you're trying to ride with two people. And I'm also running pegs in the front. Best investment also, I hate the pedals. Your feet are sitting up here and they're all uneven. This is probably one of the best things I've done. The only problem is if you live in New York City, you can't really hop on the ferries as much to go to like Jersey, Staten Island, because now they're, you know, saying if without pedals, you can't hop on. I am rocking the Dat Shop Swing Arm. The standard size though, I went with the standard size because I wanted something that I can still bring into my apartment and um, actually go through traffic with no issue. I am running 67, almost 70 miles per hour on this bike, but this standard swing arm has been keeping my wheel planted so good. I'm only running like 530 phase, so I'm not crazy torquey, but I'm pretty torquey, which I can keep down, I'm a heavier rider. But I would suggest you guys definitely upgrade your swing arms. If you want a stable ride, not an uneven ride because I know the stock swing arms bend a lot and no guys I am not sponsored by no one I mentioned in this video at all at all I'm just telling you products I've purchased this seat here I'm not gonna say names uh, where I purchased this from but if you guys want a custom seat extended seat or whatever you want whatever you want any color any stitching I recommend you guys to go to Tapia seats I, I think the last thing here is basically this decal and I wrapped this in carbon fiber which I have to redo this decal I made I make decals uh, I kind of stopped a little bit um, I haven't made a decal in a minute I cooled off with it um, I might get back into it soon I don't know yet but right now I'm focusing on doing content for you guys and yep this little cup holder right here is cool it's a little nice gadget to have when you you know you want to hold a drink that doesn't fall off i tested it hitting bumpy roads in new york city potholes and everything i hope you guys enjoyed this video of me explaining all the upgrades i've done to this bike if you guys have any questions leave them in the comment section below and also check out the description i might have most of the stuff that i have on my bike in the description if you guys want to check that out and order one yourself but peace out you guys enjoy